as I plan on uh, having one meal, which will be a curry. Okay. Me and my curries, eh? Synth in here for eight months saying, hey, X, I hope you've been doing well. Thank you, I've been doing great. Maybe a bit too much on at the moment. I'm looking forward to having a curry this evening and chilling out with a movie as uh, I will be busy. Like I was, I was working till like, till I went to bed at 10 last night. <laughs> And uh, it'll be the same, you know, with all my time for the next few days. It gets like that around the beginning of the season. I want to try curry. What's a good starter one, says Iru Green. Uh, go with, go with like a, a chicken tikka masala or a vegetable masala if you, if you don't eat meat. And then if, you, if you're really not into spicy food, though, maybe start with a korma. But masala is just such a classic. You can barely go wrong with it. Most people like a masala. You get more adventurous. Later on, but masala is a great starting point. Yeah, speaking of curry, as you know, I'm a officially a curry addict. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna up my curries to twice a week. <laughs> I love them so much; they're so good. So there is this guy called Sadaguru. I'm possibly butchering his name that I just recently learned about, and he's an interesting character with uh, some interesting things to say. And I've been you know, checking out a few of his videos, finding some interesting ideas and whatnot. And there's a video of him discussing Indian cuisine and like the shape of it and what they need to do to like make it better and whatnot. And uh, I was just like, every time he was like, you know, Indian cuisine is like some of the best in the world. I was like, yes, preach, preach. It's great. We need more of it. <laughs> uh, I haven't had any tea today because I've had an upset stomach. So let me give you a little curry update. Oh, here we go again. Oh, he's talking about curry. What's wrong with this guy? I'll give you the bad part of the story first and then the good part second. So I scheduled myself another zone out, watch a movie, have a curry because the world is the way it is right now. And I uh, ordered a fantastic curry. I'll tell you how amazing it was in a minute. But I kind of, oh, I kind of like picked out, right? The idea is to have a massive one anyway, but uh, I kind of picked the wrong things. So I gave myself a bit of an upset belly. I also had like a protein bar after, and I swear, I swear, like, didn't I do this a while ago? I had a protein bar after my curry and it just made my stomach feel awful. Anyway, this time it was like really uncomfortable. So I felt fine, I had a protein bar after, and then I was like, oh, oh, something's not right. I think it's all like the sugary stuff going in. I don't know. It really messed me up. But the, I think part of the reason though is that I ordered like coconut rice. So for the longest time when I have curries, I don't get bread. I don't get rice. Too much carbs, right? Had a uh, had a peshwari naan with the last curry and I was like, oh, it's so good. I should I should do a, do some coconut rice again. But the place that I ordered from was different and I could tell when I was eating it, they probably put a lot of sugar into their curries, I reckon, because it all tasted really sweet. I had a uh, vegetable dan sack, coconut curry, sorry, coconut rice. I tried the aloo gobi, as someone suggested in chat. That was fantastic. Sag paneer, which was really sweet. And then they had this other curry. And whenever you see it, you have to get it. It's really rare, okay? It's it's called a mo a mohwollen or something like that, a mohwollen. Don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Okay, it's basically like a masala sort of dish, but instead of tomatoey, it's more coconut and almondy flavor, but they cook it with loads of cheese mixed in. And I've had it before, and it is it is uh, really, really wonderful, but it was very sweet. And I think all of that sweet stuff was a bit much for me. And then having the protein bar after just totally upset my stomach. And so... Like, I didn't sleep particularly well. And today, like, I haven't been... Like, I've eaten my food, but I haven't really felt that hungry. Uh, it's not a spicy curry, says God Bond. No, it's not. It is very mild, but very cheesy flavoured. Very almondy, coconutty. And yes, yeah, so I just overdid it a bit, basically. Carl says, there was a good and bad part to the curry story. What was the good part? Are you feeling better or was there something else? The good part was the curry was amazing. It was so tasty. The bad part was just that I had that protein bar and it totally upset me after. I mean, the real mistake was having the rice, probably. It was a bit much. All those carbs just blew me out. RS Bilt says, what's your favorite way to make curry? X, I've never tried and want to. Just look up uh, just look up some recipes online and give something a go. Try like a vegetable or chicken tikka masala. 
It should be fairly simple. Curry's often like uh, you'll you'll be cooking up some veg or some meat, and then you'll be making a sauce on the side. So you know, boiled boiled water with some vegetable stock uh, gets mixed with certain spices like curry powder, grama masala, turmeric sometimes, and then maybe you have some cream or like. I was going to say milk. I don't think you make it with milk. But you have some cream in it sometimes as well. Some chopped up uh, creamed coconut is often a thing used to make curry. So like, you know, just look up a recipe and give it a shot. Hey, X, I made a curry last night and it was so amazing. I had to come by and thank you for inspiring me to try it, says Mama Voss. Yes, curries. They are amazing. I feel like I've been convincing a lot of people to get into curries. There's so many different types as well. Like, it's such a it's such a simple concept. It really is just like meat or veg or meat and veg, and then just just with sauce. And like it's the nature of uh, the sauces from the Indian cuisine that like is really really good. But uh, they're not the only they're not the only culture to do curries. Like you can get a Japanese like chicken katsu curry and you know rice as well with something else you have with it, obviously, and bread. That's the other thing though, right? If you go to a restaurant and have a proper naan bread, that's you ain't gonna be able to make that at home. Even though you can make pretty decent curries at home, going to a restaurant, getting yourself a proper naan bread, that's pretty awesome. 30 minutes, says Nubet. Thanks for the reminder, dude. I feel like I'm going to be able to hold out in terms of hunger. I can probably get on the uh, treadmill again at some point. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to order. Nando's or a curry or something else. I don't know Like, I don't know if I'm going to do one meal again tomorrow, so I, I should probably try and hold out for as long as I can and go for a curry. Like, curry houses open later. And dang, I wish they opened a bit earlier because I like to eat earlier in the day and then have plenty of time for my food to digest before I go to bed. And y'all know me, I love my curries, right? Love my curries. I went to a um I went to a buffet place a while back and they had loads of satay sauce. And oh my god, it's like basically it's peanut butter sauce, and I'm just like, oh, oh, this is heaven. And they had a bunch of like curry dishes there too. But like they weren't very good. They're, they're not like the Indian ones. Like having Indian curry at a Chinese one all that. Madras says specific frosty. Every madras that I've had, maybe I'll try a madras again today. Every madras that I've had has always been too much heat and not enough flavor. Chana masala is top, says Sir Chance. Most of the ones I've tried have not been that great. That's like chickpea and uh, masala and like depends on the house like you, when you know your curry houses in your local area you know which ones do this thing good and that one good and yeah you can choose according to that oh man i'm feeling so hungry <laughs> and you know what today is right what's today chat curry day says lightly lucid oh you know me too well my uh, my my curry fever is back after uh oh, i think after like going for a a little bit after Christmas and not eating them much. It's come right back. I'm going to have a massive one today. I, I picked it out already. Y'all want to know what I'm going to eat? Probably not. I mean, why would you want to know what I'm going to eat? Girl, no one cares about food, do they? El Manaman says I'm cooking curry right now. Awesome. I made uh, a couple of curries in the week, like homemade homemade ones. Pixel G says I've never tried a curry before. If you do get the opportunity to, and depending on where you are in the world, I don't think all curry places are quite... The same. I get the impression that in the Americas it's uh, not really a place where you have decent curry houses. But if ever you have one, start yourself off with like a vegetable masala. A lot of people have that with like rice or breads. And the breads are really nice, but I don't have them very often. Uh, culture, culture naan. Or what's the other one? It begins with P. Peshwari. Peshwari. Peshwari naan bread. Really great. Yeah, I've like cut out bread and not rice, but like... The problem is portion size. You just get so much of it. For one person, it's a bit like ridiculous. But when in a group, I'll have I'll have some bread and rice as well. <laughs> Skylight says, "X, spill the beans. What are you going to eat, sir? Let me grab my. I already read it down. Today I'm going to have onion bhaji, a vegetable masala, a sag bhaji, vegetable samosas, and uh, a sagaloo as a main as well. Get some potatoes in there. I've been eating like a fair bit of potatoes lately. They're quite quite nice to cook." Boil and mash and put them in a curry, says Lucaro. Well, you don't you don't want to mash them. Sometimes, well, I don't know. Maybe you can, but I I keep them lumpy in a curry. If you mash them, they become a part of the, the consistency of it. All right. I've only ever had decent Indian food once in California, a hole in the wall kind of place. It was out of this world. 
says Lightly Lucid. It sounds like when you say it, it's out of this world, it sounds like you found a proper place that does proper curry. Because that's what it is for me. Like I, they're just always amazing, and they're on the healthy spectrum as well, which is really great. Like it's it's my favorite cuisine, no doubt. I like a Rogan Josh as Super Fred. I've never enjoyed them when I've had them. It's, when I go into the hotter range of curries, I just find the heat tends to overpower flavor. Should should try them again on occasion. The thing is, they're so nice. It's like, it feels like you can never go wrong with your favorites, right? Scarlet says, I'm not a big fan of beef and pork. I prefer game like meat, venison, turkey, and gator. Venison's really nice when it's in season. My go-to is always chicken katsu. The right amount of mild for me. I'm not a fan of spicy foods. Oh, katsu's lovely. That's a Japanese curry. I've, uh, I've made some homemade katsu before. Pretty simple, the spices that you make for like the katsu flavor, if I remember correctly. I made myself uh, a curry today. I made myself a curry. It was peas, potato, and paneer. PPP. All mixed up with some tomato, grandma masala, and curry powder. It's kind of it's kind of all right. The mix of uh, seasoning though wasn't particularly strong or interesting, but a good start for me making my own curry dish. I think I'll try it with spinach next time, and probably cook the paneer differently, as uh, I think it needed a bit more attention. I've really been into cooking because I've done quite a lot this last couple of weeks, having more time on my hands. I want to maintain it. What was the last ingredient? Uh, grandma masala, curry powder. There was uh, a vegetable stock cube with some tomato puree. Mix that up with hot water and then uh, there was onion in it as well. Got to have some onion in a curry, gosh. X, you're asking for some Indian dessert. I'd recommend you try gulab Jamin Guraz. I, I'll, I'll look it up, but I've never seen those on a menu. Uh, but thanks for the suggestions. I'm going to look those up after the stream and uh, see what they are, because I love curry. Oh, and I tell you, oh, on the weekend I had a sag paneer with a giant onion bhaji, chicken tikka paneer, and a vegetable dan sack. And oh my god, did it fill me up. It was so good. Love my curry. <laughs> it amuses me how much I like it. Paneer is so good, says Estellian. Yeah, I've actually been cooking tray bakes with some paneer on top. It's really weird because it's such a like, it's such a light and almost flavorless. Like it's a very mild cheese, but it like sponges up flavor. So you can cook it with spices and chili and stuff and it really soaks it up. Now I'm hungry, says Daisy. Yeah, I'm always hungry, me. I had, to, I had some good food today. Good food. Good cooking. Made myself a, uh, I don't know what you call it really, like... If you have a sag bhaji, right, curry dish, Indian food, or like a sag paneer, sag is spinach, so I had a, had a sag whatever tuna is. <laughs> I mixed onions, spinach, garlic, tomatoes, and tuna together, and it was really tasty. I also had a massive curry on the weekend. There's this one curry house. Its curries are like, the price of the curry is like really cheap, and the portion size is like damn decent. So what I got was some masala sauce, and then I uh, I got like free vegetable dishes, and that was just crazy, man! Massive bowl of food. Oh my god, that sounds yummy! Says Ducky MC. Yeah, I love my curry. It's my uh, favorite food. Now it's curry again. Lol, says Forgill. Hey, you know me. I love to waffle about it. Hi, I'm from North India, where spinach sag originated. Cool. I would one day love to visit India and uh, enjoy the cuisine and its. In it's a uh, proper environment, you know, like where it came from. That'd be super cool. Are you vegetarian, says Hand? Uh, I'm not. However, when I have curry, it's always vegetarian because it's just so much nicer. I, I find I find that's the one thing with uh, Indian food is that it's actually like it with a lot of food. Meat meat tends to just like be like, here's the dish, all this flavor, and oh, there's the meat. I can't think of like where the meat is like the main source of flavor. But yeah, uh, you know, Indian Indian food is some of the best vegetarian food you can get. Okay, waffling about curry is great, but what about curry on a waffle? Nah, that don't sound right.